Hey, what is up, wonderful world of YouTube? My name is Chris, and this is Motivated Living. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I'm just going to talk about, uh, well, suicide and some things that go along with it. I don't know why, but it's uh, weighing on me. And on my channel, I like to bring you real content. Uh, you know, there's other things other than talking on here. If you take a look around, there's some cool stuff with the motorcycles and, you know, but I like bringing you good content in a plethora of things to where it, it can be helpful in one way or another. Um, but for some reason, this has been way on into the talk. It's not scripted. It's, it's ran through my head a little, but this talks more so from the heart. And, you know, a lot of them on my channel are. Um, you know, and if you like real talk and real content, uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, ring your notification bell, and because that's exactly what you're going to get from me, and on a regular basis. Um, but with that term, it's coming from the heart, from being a person who's lived it, you know, uh, key individuals in my life, you know, growing up, where I've had to see that, um, you know, mixed with friends who have chose to end their lives and um, seeing other other people who talk about it, who are in them doom and gloom type things to even within my, my family and then my family now, you know, where we've all been there, left wonder what the bleep, you know, um, so yeah, without further ado, let's move on into it, uh, like I said, this isn't scripted, there's not, nothing's been pre-planned or prepared, I mean, it's just a thought that came to mind, it's been weighing on me, and I don't know if a lot of it has to do with hearing more and more people talk about it, or local news where things are going on, uh, you know, like that nature, you know, um, you know, I've heard some people say, like, that's a the coward's way out, you know. I don't know if that's the right term. I personally think it would take a lot of courage to just become nothing, to end everything. Um, as humans, we kind of have it programmed to stop us from self-destructing, in my opinion, you know, where you go to do something like that and something chimes in to stop us, you know, and that's not always the case. But, um, you know, I've heard, heard of attempts where they live through it and it's made their lives completely worse, you know, and uh, from being paralyzed or missing half your face or whatever it may be. But more so, I want to talk about when you're thinking about that, you know, and I don't want to say all of us have been there. I'm, I've been there, you nor know, I've had that thought, you know, I don't know if that's so devil on your shoulder type deal um, you know trying to push people because uh, there's always powers at play from the way I view the world and things that you don't see you know kind of there's signs and symbols for the conscious mind out there um, but there's more than what the human eye can see on this plane that are, that are at play um, but ultimately it's a decision to make or not make and so what pushes people there you know what brings people to think about that i mean could it be you know, something happened in a relationship uh, issues in with your family or you know um bad breakup stuff something happens where maybe you don't have money to pay your bills and you're, you're tired of working for nothing or i mean if some people just wake up one day and i mean i don't know obviously i've never done it <laughs> Because I'm here, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say I've never had those thoughts, you know. Um, but growing up, pivotal, two very pivotal people, pivotal people in my upbringing, you know, um, one happened and then a few years later the other happened or it just, it was detrimental. And I think that a lot of people may not take into consideration what they're leaving behind and not everybody may not have other family members or, you know, a wife or husband and kids or a dog or whatever it may be that they're leaving behind. Um, but a lot of, a lot of us do 
uh, and so you don't really think who's going to be there to pick up the pieces, you know. Sometimes you get to feeling low, like, ah, nobody's going to care or miss me, and, and come to find out contrary to that's not, you know, it's not the case, you know, or it destroys other lives, uh, especially young lives around, um, you know, where it has an impact. And I don't know if when some people do that, they think about that or if that's what they're after, you know, or they just push it out of their minds. But coming from a person who has experienced that, you know, it's really real, the mess you leave behind, or what it could do to a young mind, if you have any youngsters around, or, you know, they may not even be your kids, it could be a niece or a nephew that looks up to you, or, you know, something like that, um, how it can really influence and affect somebody to where it sets them spiraling down a bad path you know honestly I know when I had lost um, you know I just put it out there my dad originally um, I didn't know how to deal with that so I turned to a bunch of nonsense to deal with it and ultimately put me in a real bad spot and it took years of dumping my head and then finally a light came on and I shared in another video uh, I could put a card to it what helped me deal with you know the feelings because it you know uh, honestly I let it destroy me you know and you always have the, the other people the people you leave behind the blame or thinking you know man I wonder if it's something I said or did say or, you know but uh Sorry if I'm stumbling over my words. It's a touchy topic. Like I said, it's coming from the heart. And this late, I'm tired. But I wanted to get this out. Um, hopefully it can reach somebody, help somebody. And, you know, if not, it, I feel it's probably going to be therapeutic for me. Putting it out there. And if you have to talk to my wife, she'll tell you I usually don't do feelings. So some of these deeper videos I do. It's kind of a miracle that I, I'm giving it to a world of probably complete strangers, you know. I know that I have several uh, friends that subscribe who know me that they, uh, a lot of y'all who are going to see it probably don't know me from Adam. But that's a real topic in this day and age. And, you know, uh, I, I'm hearing other people I know, you know, either they've experienced it or they've, you know, you can tell that it comes up in conversation that they're on that thought pattern, you know, and try to get their minds back help show them that it's not all doom and gloom and it's all not all bad, you know, that there is some good. You know, even when you're in the worst of circumstances, if you try, you can find something positive out there. Even when it, it seems like you can't. You know, and that's something I challenge each and every one of y'all to, you know, if you're having a bad day, I challenge you to find one good thing in that day that's not negative, you know, something that's positive. And then try to focus on that. Because, you know, it's kind of a proven thing. That what we focus on is usually what manifests, you know. Uh, I hear some people talk like the power of manifestation. Where, you know, they train their mind to focus. It could be on money or a better relationship. And usually that will come because they, they set their mind and they focus on it. And they speak it into play. But, you know, if I'm having a crappy day and I just focus on the crappy aspects of it chances are I'm going to stay in that down mood all day until I get my head off of that mess, you know, and retrain and rethink and focus on something good, you know. I can't stress that enough. And, you know, I hear stuff like that all the time at home. And I've said in other videos, you know, my, my better half should be the one making these videos because she's like the queen of positivity. You know, I watch her suffer on a regular basis. She has a plethora of health issues. And here I sit not being able to really do anything to, you know, except be there to help. But, um, but she always stays so positive, like constantly. You know, she's like the rock of Gibraltar. If, if our family was named Gibraltar, she'd be the rock. She, you know, she's just the, the positive anchor here. You know, our light in the darkness. And, uh, and when you're around something like that, it, 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 it tends to rub off and you know I find myself sometimes getting down and I, I can hear certain words and I'm like oh 
yeah, today sucks goat balls, but man, the sun's shining. <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's really nice outside. Okay. You know, there's just something good. And, you know, for y'all that are in them shoes where certain things might be on your, your mind, you know, know that it doesn't have to be that way to change your circumstance. You don't have to end it to change it. Because, you know, honestly, if you do happen to do that, there's just 100% no chance that it can get better. And if you believe in stuff happening in an afterlife, after here than from what a lot of like spiritual individuals say and uh, you know it, it kind of brings more doom to you in the end so you have suffering in the afterlife and what some other in, other individuals believe that it'll leave you stuck on this level where you're kind of stuck to roam in a constant you know some people think all oh, that's hocus pocus you know I guess we won't know until that day comes for those who don't know yet but know that that's not your only solution, even some, though sometimes it feels like it is, you know, and there is help, you know, like I can't put my number down where you could call me to talk, but I mean, feel free to put comments down, you know, and we can comment back and forth and I'm going to put the suicide prevention phone number down where you can anonymous, anonymously call and, you know, at least have somebody who will listen to you, you know, and a lot of people who are in them positions there like on the other end of that phone from my understanding are people who have been there you know and they it's all about sharing what's helped and you know they may not know you but they have that compassion to be on the other end of that phone for strangers which and from my understanding are voluntary they're not paid to sit there and talk to you uh, so know that even strangers care you know we all matter even when it feels like we don't, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I'll put the phone number. I'll even try to like make a little card description thing and put it where it comes across somewhere in this video. And then I'll put it down in the description too, you know, where y'all can reach out to somebody if need be, you know, uh, at least take that step before you take the step you can't untake, you know. And, uh, you know, just think of what you'd be leaving behind even when if you think there's nothing or nobody would care somebody would and it's going to affect somebody else and i mean is that how you really want to be you know leaving this this earth uh, and the devastation it would leave behind um, especially if you know you may be a parent or a, a brother or an aunt or an uncle you know know somebody somewhere even if you don't know it it's their fault that they haven't told you but you know or don't tell you enough i know we as people we tend not to you know always express our feelings and well like when my father passed i you know he meant the world to me and i wasn't able to bring myself to tell him until it was too late you know the box was closed and uh that ship had sailed you know and that was part of what screwed me up for years to come and, you know, I, I mentioned the other video I made, like, what helped me to deal with them feelings after he left. And, you know, the only thing I found that really helped me, me being a more mind-your-own-business closed type, was I, I wrote. I actually wrote him a letter. It was a goodbye letter. It helped me get closure and, you know, helped me come to peace with things and um, you know, shared how I felt about it. But it was uh, keeping all that stuff in from what happened. I ended up being like a prison to myself, you know. You know, it's not fair that you leave people behind feeling like that. And, you know, that goes for me, too. If I were to do something stupid like that, I know that even though, even when I'm having, like, the worst day and feel like uh, nobody cares and they get over it, you know, I, that the fact of the matter is that's just us trying to convince ourselves that, you know, the wrong we're about to do isn't so wrong after all, but... You know, you, you shouldn't need convincing if you're doing something right, if that makes any sense. So that right there should say that. But no, that, that's not always the answer. You know, that isn't the answer. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I can understand a terminally ill patient wanting, you know, they're suffering, wanting something, you know, that, and they already know they're going, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's a whole nother, that's different than the, you know, the, the grounds I'm talking on here. And again, you know, I apologize. I'm kind of choppy and 
pulling things off my head and just going as it comes to mind. Like I said, I haven't, I don't have any notes or, you know, anything like that. It's just a from the heart talk, you know, uh, trying to keep it real with y'all. Got the nervous twitch and all that over here because it's uncomfortable. You know, feelings are uncomfortable, especially ones that hit really hard and close to home. So, um, you know, I, I hope you are at least getting something from, I want to say from my suffering, because this isn't easy for me to do. I don't know none of y'all, well, most of y'all. And here I am opening myself up to, you know, to share all this. So on a note like this, you know, I, you, know, I, you don't have to subscribe and like if you don't want to. You know, I invite you to join the channel because this type of talks, you know, <coughs> real talk. You know, I, I bring it to you real, no fluff or sugarcoating. I just... I like to talk about things the way they are, and I like to bring content that can help other people. And even if it's a fragrance review, I like giving content that helps people. And sometimes they're deep like this, and sometimes it's about a product, or a lot of times I ride the motorcycle and talk, clear my head. And, you know, my goal with sharing in my channel is, you know, not a, a money thing. You know, I don't make anything for my videos. Some of them I put affiliate links and. I might make a couple of dollars here and there, you know. I, uh, it's more so with trying to get my own good karma going, you know, help others, you know, because I know there's been times I wish I could see certain content or I go looking for certain content, you know, where someone shares that could help, you know, uplift somebody else because ultimately, you know, we are, are in a roundabout way each other's caretaker, I guess, you know, and... But if you got anything from this, or if there's anything you can add, you know, interact with me. Put it in the comments. And I'm not going to be like some of these other people who, you know, they, they got such a big following and channel, they don't have time for you, you know. So I respond to all my comments and promptly so interact. Put some comments down there, you know. If, and if you're dealing with something, you know, and you want to talk about it in some comments, Put it in there. If not, I'm like I said, I'm gonna put the phone number uh, to where somebody be on the other end of that line who's gonna care and who's gonna listen and may share something with you that'll help. You know. And uh, you know, with that said, I, I, uh, you know, implore y'all to just be. You know, just be. What I mean by that is when the walls are closing in on you. Sometimes you don't have to figure out the solution right then and now. Sometimes you don't have to stop hurting right then and now. You know, know that better days are going to come. You know, when you're dealing with, you know, forgive my language, shit. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you see, you know, anywhere you look. And it doesn't seem like it's ever going to get cleaned up or go away. But then... And for anyone who's ever been in them shoes and got through it already once, you've seen the sunshine come back out. You know, the rain clouds moved away. Oh man, the plants grew, the flowers grew because of the rain that, I, you know, I lived through. Good came from it. You know, they say struggle builds character. And, uh, you know, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. You know, a lot of times when you hear that, you're like, yeah, blow it out your nose. You know, <laughs> like, you want to hear that crap when you're, going through stuff because you feel like, man, what do you know? Now, chances are they might know. <laughs> they might have been there and seen it through because I, uh, you know, I try not to cuss in my videos, but shit happens and it happens to all of us. I don't care if you're rich, you're poor, you're, you're white, black, pink, purple, man, woman, kid. Shit happens to all of us, you know, and it, it's how we deal with it, man. Some of us just need a really big pooper scooper. <laughs> you know, and uh, and chances are it's going to keep happening because that's life. You know, it's not always going to be like that. Just say it's not always going to be a bed of roses either. You know, it's, it's it's just life. And, you know, you can't say it's what you make it. You know, man, there's other circumstances that go along with it. It's not what you make it. Yeah, it is, but it's what you do with the stuff as it comes to you determines how it's going to make later on, you know. But either way... You know, I think crap's always going to happen to us, you know, and, but if we decide to say, I'm done, then you can't have them good days anymore either. And I guess in the long run, 
good days are coming, you know. They're going to come. It can't be. You may have a month of bad stuff, but it can't last forever, you know. Um, so I guess that's where I'm at with it. And I don't want to say I said my piece on it, but yeah, hit me up in the comments, man. Tell me what you think about it. If you have anything to add, it, you know, this isn't about me or just about one person, you know, it's about whoever can help. And this is a serious issue that's plaguing many, many people out there. And it doesn't matter if they're youth, you know, middle age, old folks. It, I'm seeing it all over, all different ages. And I've seen it from when I was in high school, you know, a couple years back. <laughs> many moons have passed, young grasshopper, when I was in school, you know, friends, uh, you know, and all the way up to, you know, um, older family members and the one one person had a smile on their face all the time, never saw it coming, you know, uh, but it devastated just about the whole family, you know, and so, yeah, there's other ways, and there is help, and better days are coming, you know, so, you know, I, I challenge y'all again to look for the positive in any given situation, and if it's over a, a partner leaving you, you know, you know, unfortunately, it's probably not your last heartbreak, but, you know, we have a way of mending and when you move forward and you get up. You know, I don't know how many people are watching this or like rap friends or whatever, but there's an old DMX song. And, you know, check it out. It's called Slippin'. S-L-I-P-P-I-N. You know, uh, D-M-X. That, uh, you know, even if you're not a rap fan, if you listen to the words, you can feel the, I don't know, man, that always just... That's, that's it, that song right there. I'd play it, but I'd probably get yelled at by the by YouTube, you know, like saying I put it in my video. But So I'll just tell you, I'll go check it out. Listen to it, you know. Uh, and if you have other music like that, that you know, it, it, it's like an inspirational anthem, you know. He's slipping, he's falling. He can't get up. I'm slipping, I'm falling. I have to get up. So always get up, man. You're going to get knocked down. Get back up. Get back up. And, yeah, that's it. I'm going to quit rambling. You know, I, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody has a better day. I wish you all the best, the best of life, and best of spirits. And, uh, you know, here's to better days. Thanks again.